uh, my name is Anthony Nochella. Um, I miss all of you. I wish I was there. Um, we all wish we were there, um, but because of uh, you know certain time and funding, um, we can't be. Uh, just a really quick plug, uh, Luke down there has an uh, education and incarceration book, and uh, so check that out. Liad and Chris and a number of other people have um, handouts, so check those out um, uh, at the conference, so, um, so bug them. So yeah, thanks so much about that. Um, so now I'm going to speak about um, the uh, detention uh, work that we do, and uh, that going back to cable, res, uh, about knowledge, we get our knowledge from uh, youth that are incarcerated and their frustrations about that knowledge. And then we also challenge that those youth that are incarcerated, sometimes we always think when we're in the detention center that uh, when we bring up, hey, you know, what if we didn't have cops? And we would think that they would say, oh, that would be great. Um, but a lot of the times that they believe, um, uh, like all of us have been programmed to say, well, if we don't have cops, everyone will die. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I think we need to, to begin um, deprogramming and de-schooling these youth into a, 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 to say that we can police ourselves, we can have rules in our own community, and we don't need outsiders to tell us what's right and what's wrong, right? We have to remember that, uh, you know, I have to remember as a white person, my privileges, my supremacy, my domination, and then also that, you know, um, the people that made rules on the streets, you know, from the, the light, you know, from the green, red, uh, um, you know, and yellow was not created by a white person, but an African American. So we also have to understand that uh, many of the, the structures that create, um, you know, from the calendar to zero were not created by a white person. And so uh, that sometimes certain communities don't need white people um, and able-bodied people or, you know, uh, males or heterosexual people in those spaces and to feel that's okay to not be needed. Um, and I think, you know, I think that's some of the, the, the what we do in the detention center. And, uh, we go there every week and we, we have chapters all over the country and when we go into the detention center on a volunteer basis, um, we play anything from Duck, Duck, Goose, as Simon says, to throwing balls around, to playing basketball, anything that we can get these kids to be kids again, and, um, because they grow up a lot quicker than uh, they want to, um, but society forces them to. And uh, one of the projects, two of the projects that we do is Poetry Behind the Walls, which is one of the only go ongoing uh, books that you can get on Amazon or, you know, arisamediagroup.org. And it's uh, only writing from incarcerated youth throughout the country, so check that out, Poetry Behind the Walls. And if you are incarcerated and you are checking this video out um, somehow, some way, uh, or you heard about Save the Kids, and if you're an adult that's uh, locked up, um, so check out Wisdom Behind the Walls. It's adults writing to youth and their wisdom, and then we post it on our website, savethekidsgroup.org. Uh, so another project that we do um, to dismantle the school to prison pipeline and the prison uh, you know, industrial complex, which uh, Mr. Cole talks about, is uh, the National Week of Action, and we just had it. Um, if some of you were all involved, thank you so much for participating. Next year, um, we're going to do it again, and we're going to keep on doing it until you know the prison system is you know destroyed, um, and we you know create a new. And uh, the whole idea is every day we're doing a different theme, and we had a hundred plus events this year in the United States with more than 500 sponsors, and we did rallies, we did panels, we, did, we showed Central Park Five, we showed a variety of films, we did teach-in workshops throughout Los Angeles, and a lot of different organizations participated, and we're really blessed to, uh, you know, have all those groups. And, you know, again, it didn't take any money, and it took a lot of people's love, resources, and that's why we're, you know, here. We're building um, a family, and that's kind of what we say is the SDK family, and, you know, the School to Prison Pipeline Dismantling Family. We, we have, you know, connected with people via Facebook, and now we're really close to a lot of these people. So, again, if you want to get involved in Save the Kids, check out SaveTheKidsGroup.org. Um, also, we have uh, um, conference calls once a month, first Saturday of every month, 4 p.m. Eastern, uh, um, Eastern Time, USA. Um, we would love you to participate and uh, get involved. And uh, so that's pretty much any other quick comments. We love Save the Kids. <laughs> yeah. So we want to be respectful of the time that we were given. Um, there's so much more we could talk about and share with you. Um, we really just encourage you to reach out, get connected, start a STK chapter uh, in your community, in your neighborhood, 
and let's really amplify each other's work. Let's build, let's grow, and let's get our youth out of prison. Mm. Thank you, ICOPA, for inviting us. Thank you, everybody in Ontario and those who came into Ontario for the conference. We really appreciate the work that everybody's doing, and we're optimistic that if each one of us does our part, we'll get this done. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Take care.